Houghton on the Hill has a matchless situation on the great escarpment of the county above the plain of England. It lies about six miles east of Leicester. Much of the village lies along the A47 trunk road. This area has a strong farming tradition which is evident when approaching the village from the Strettons. The fields reveal clear evidence of the ridge and furrow farming of the 17th and 18th centuries. The church spire is clearly visible for miles. The village main street is narrow and nearly half a mile long from the trunk road to the parish church. Many of the old houses still carry the names reflecting the days when Houghton was a strong farming community. Most of the buildings in the village street are of the early 19th century. They are mostly of red brick, but a few of the earlier houses have walls partly of ironstone with later whitewashed brickwork. A few retain their thatched roofs. Continuing along the main street, we come to Church Farm, which was originally Manor Farm and is recorded as the oldest building in Houghton. It was the Thompson family home for over 300 years. The co-op bought the house and sold the yard and fields at the rear for new housing in the 1960s. The post office and a hairdresser's shop are amongst these new houses. What may well be the tallest house in the village stands next to Church House on the bend and directly opposite the school. The school, built in 1856 for a mere £150, catered for around 60 pupils in 1900 but now has around 200 children attending. On the corner of Weir Lane stands a white painted house called Farrier's Cottage. At the rear is a tiny building that was once the smithy, which was still in use in 1959. It is now a chemist's shop. East Thorpe Cottage overlooks a small circular green on which stands a memorial erected in 1921, a stark reminder of men of Houghton who lost their lives in the First World War. Scotland Lane branches off to the west at this point and re-enters the street a hundred yards further down. One of these houses, situated on the corner, was the Boot Inn during the 19th century. Halfway down the village street is the Black Horse Inn. The building is modern, built on the site of the old inn, which was demolished in 1943, having been damaged by enemy action, along with two houses, during the air raid in 1941. The only other pub, the Rosen Crown, is situated on the main road. A brick-built village hall, erected in 1921 in memory of J.A.R. Forsell, stands to the east of Manor Farm and behind 
lies the village Bowling Green. There are some very interesting brick-built walls running along the main street. Many, I suggest, are older than the houses themselves. The little Wesleyan Chapel, built in 1852, is still in regular use. The busy village store stands in the main street. The old rectory stands next to the church and dates from 1856. The medieval church, dedicated to St Catherine, has many fine features including an ancient font and an east window dedicated to James Coleman who ministered here for nearly half of the 19th century. This peacock is a regular visitor to the churchyard. The surrounding churchyard has many old interesting fine slate gravestones dating back to the 1600s and sadly some are now used as a pathway through the grounds and lay broken and worn. The field behind the church was once known as a hall close. It is recorded that houses once stood here. Houghton, in the early 18th century, consisted of about 70 families. By 1901, the population had risen to 278 and today it is nearer 2,000 residents. Houghton is worth a visit and you can continue your walk across the beautiful countryside.